Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial for beginner. In this video, I will show you how to model this part with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. I will pick parametric part template to create this model. Make sure you are in part design workbench. Click on create sketch tool and pick exit frame. Click on circle command and click on the origin to start the circle. Type 20 mil for the diameter and press enter. Create another circle and make it 40 mil diameter. Press enter. Right click to exit the command. Click and drag this dimensions away from other lines so the sketch will look more clear. Pick Centered Rectangle tool from this drop-down list. Start somewhere here along this axis and click on this edge of the circle. Now I will add dimensions to make this sketch fully constrained. Click on Dimension tool and click on this line. Type 15 and press Enter. Click on this line again and click on the origin. Type 75 and press enter. Let's make this line as construction line so it will be ignored from this profile. Now we need to remove this part of circle. Click on this trim edge tool and click on this edge. Now we have a redundant constraint that we have to remove it. I have to remove constraint number 14. Click here and it will be highlighted in this list. Hit the delete button on your keyboard to remove it. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on pad command. Type 50 mil for the length and click OK. Now we have completed the first solid. Let's add chamfer to this corner. Click on this chamfer command. Click on the edge. Pick two dimensions from this drop down. Type 25 and 50. Click anywhere here to see the update in 3D view. If you don't see the update, click on this icon to flip the dimensions. Click OK to close the window. Click on Create Sketch command. Pick Exit Plane. Click on this command to copy external reference lines from the existing solid. Click on these edges. Right click to exit. Click on circle command. Click somewhere here and type 20 mil for the diameter and press enter. Draw one more circle with 40 mil diameter. Click and drag this dimensions away. Click on this circle and move it somewhere here. Click on this line tool and draw a line from this corner to this circle. Click on create polygon tool and draw like this.
right click to exit. There's a redundant constraint warning. Let's delete constraint number seven. There are seven degrees of freedom that we need to fix them. Pick constraint vertical from this drop down list and click on these lines to make them vertically constrained. Drag the sketch to see where you need to add more constraints. Click on this tool to add tangent constraint. Click on the circle and the line. Do the same here. Right click to exit. Now I will add dimension. Click on center of the circle and this line or this point. Type 25 and press enter. Green color line means these lines are fully constrained. You need to add more constraints to other lines. Click and drag the lines to see where the constraints are missing. This line is missing tangent constraint. Let's add tangent constraint. Now we need to add a line and an arc to close this profile sketch so we can apply pad command. Click on line command and draw a line from this point to this point. Pick create arc by three points from this drop down list. Click on this point and this point and on this edge. Right click to exit. I'm still missing one constraint. Click and drag the sketch again to check the missing constraint. Let's remove this redundant constraint. Press delete key to remove it. Check all the lines. It's hard to see where the problem is. Let me close the sketch and turn up the visibility of the solid part. We need to delete this extra line. Double click on the sketch and switch to wireframe display style. Now click on this line and press the delete key. Click and drag the arc to check. We need to add tangent constraint between the circle and the arc. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. We still need to trim this edge. Double click on the sketch again and click on Trim Tool and click on this edge. Close the window. Now this sketch is ready for extrusion. Switch back to shaded display style and click on pad command. Type 15 for the length and press enter. Check the model. Let's add the keyway. Pick this face and click on create sketch command. Pick centered rectangle command and click on Z axis somewhere here. Type 3 for the width 
and 12 for the height. Click on Coincident Constraint. Click on this point and the Y axis. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on Pocket Command. and change this to through all type. Click OK. Let's add radius to this corner. Click on this edge and click on fillet command. Type 10 for the radius and press enter. The model is now complete. Please comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to subscribe so you will get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you and see you soon.